good day friends it is me HL Mod Tech, and I'm back today with another printer assembly today we've got the ANET ET4X so my friends let's get cracking all right friends we're gonna try something different we're gonna try and build this on this tiny table let's start by getting the box open All right, protective cover, belts, screws, wrenches, filament, caps, filament holder, eight inch sticker, and then the metal parts. We've got a manual warranty card setup manual, bed sticker, glass bed, and clips. Let me pull this out for you. All right, so we are going to use this a little bit later. I'm gonna... And let's get these parts out and ready to be put to work. I'm going to need the screws. Belt will be in a little bit. Wrenches I'll put in a sweet tray. Little cap I will store in the sweet tray as well for later. We've got the two horizontal bars. We've got the two vertical bars. Z. The hot end. Fuse, SD card, and so on. The right side. And the left side and the screw I'm gonna just set this on the floor I'll get the screw from there when it's time all right so you can see there are essentially eight steps uh, number one is to assemble our bars uh, I have got a couple of handy screwdrivers that have the same ends as the Allen wrenches that come with the system. Uh, these are awesome. They've got the beveled edges and I appreciate that. But sometimes I find it easier if you've got these uh, kind of tips to get this assembled. When you pull out these parts, make sure you spot the one with the holes. That is gonna be on the left side where you're gonna eventually attach the Z. When you look at these two, you've got the top one which has the four holes and you've got this one which has many holes that's where we're going to attach the hot end and so forth eventually and the screw packs have the four that we're going to use for the base and then it also has the m416s that we're going to use to attach the top and then these are going to attach the extruder and hot end and all that jazz so let's get these out and quickly slide them in I'll accelerate the video quick, but that's all it takes to complete step one of the eight steps. Step two is to slide these on. Once again, make sure you've got your left side, those holes right there, and then make sure you've got the label to the front as you slide it through like that. So for the right side, make sure you've got the nut facing this way, slide it on as well. This is gonna attach right here. Make sure you find these holes and slide it over when those are lined up. But before you attach it, make sure you add your hot end because it's hard to do that afterwards. All right, this is where I love this little table. Um, I'm able to grab the screws, screwdriver, and line these up nice and quick and get them started so I can get everything in place and it's just easier to reach some of these spots with a screwdriver and that connector. It also has this sweet little tray where you can hold the screws so you're not dropping them all the time. Notice I'm not tightening these in until I've got all four attached. And this last one's really kind of tricky. So the last one we need to attach is inside there. So I'm going to flip it upside down. 
And in a perfect world, this little dude would be magnetic. But unfortunately, he is not. But I'm still able to push him up through. And by holding it upside down, we're able to tighten that in. I don't know if you can see it going through there or not. But that's much easier because you can hold it like that because you did all the other ones first. All right, so now that they're all in, I am going to tighten them all in. Remember, this will slide off, so be careful. So if you look closely, we just completed two and three, and it's time to do the belt. All right, for step four, the belt. Uh, I really like this mechanism that they have in place. Uh, you want to make sure you've got your geared side in. We're going to bring this up through. Around. Make sure you go under your pulleys and bring it back through and then see if you can slide it in the grooves without messing with the tension and then it just slides in that groove if it's not tight enough or if it's too tight you can loosen these quick this is one of my favorite parts of the ET4 is you can adjust your tension almost instantly. So the whole extruder slides in. You can get those slid into place. I'll flip this over so we can see it better. But you can see those are both totally in the grooves. Now I can flip it back and I can pull this out until I've got the tension that I want. Once again they give supplied Allen wrenches but for this type of thing, I really love having the uh, screwdriver. It just makes it a little quicker. Boom. Done with step four. All right. Step five is to attach the base. Bust out those four screws that we're going to need. All right. And let's get screw number one in here. All right. So this is another neat thing about this tiny table is I'm able to hang the parts that are normally in the way, like this right here, over the table. So it makes it really easy when getting these started because otherwise you'd be trying to find the exact angle and boom, I've just got it naturally. I like to start them with fingers and then switch to the wrench. Let's turn that angle so we can see the tightening. Once again, I've still got that end hanging off the other side, and I'm just going to tighten this a little. And of course, I will bump up the speed so that you don't have to watch me tighten those all in, but all I'm doing is flipping it over and repeating the same process. Once again, hanging it over that edge is so slick because you get to have it flat, and they actually line up pretty darn easy. All right, done with this step, but while we're in here, let's bring out our cables because you will need those later. You don't want to forget that. Make sure you remember to loosen this so you can get your threaded screw in there where you want it. You only really need to loosen the top ones because the bottom one is where it attaches to the post of the Z. All right, so let's lift up the bar. Slide Z in a little bit. Then bring over that motor and we only crank it up a little. And boom, we're ready to drop it in. And then don't forget to tighten it down. Because I actually did that on an earlier printer build. Alrighty, friends. I'm just putting the 16 millimeters in here with the hex wrench. Super simple. They line up with those holes just like you'd expect. We need to slide this forward to do so you need to pull out that green strip there is one in the front and one in the back and there are also a few pieces of foam once you get those removed it'll slide forward nice and easy and, th and that gives you easy access so you can plug in z 
And then also, let's tilt this over and let's run this cable through this hole so it is ready for later as well. Find this little metal part. Make sure the lip is over on this side. Get your boat nuts on it. Slide them in the hole. And then I raised it up about 5 millimeters. This is something you can adjust later. Then once again, you'll be using their Allen wrench. Or if you happen to have a cool little screwdriver like this, it does make it just a little slicker. Especially when you're adjusting it later. Alright friends, all of these are labeled. Uh, if you just look closely. So this one says end. There's a spot here that says end. And you simply plug it in. End is the one up at the top. Always double check your labels, of course. And then spin these around so you can find them. So that's fan one, which is right there. This one says temp, which is down on the bottom. And this one says BL, so it is up on the top where BL is. All right, so those are all attached. Don't forget this one. That's the one I mentioned earlier. It goes over here to this side. There's the little notch. Open these little guys up. And once you got it pushed in, make sure you snap it in place so it doesn't come out. Notice it does push all the way in and snap. You just have to get it to the right spot. All right, now we simply need to insert the tube. Make sure you also remember to connect your heated bed. There is a clip on the top that fastens it snug. Also, I'll highlight real quickly, they have the same kind of nuts here that they had up on the X so that you can tighten your belt by just loosening those and pulling or pushing either way. Last is to attach the filament stand. Once again, it uses boat nuts. These were the larger ones. I'm gonna finger start them. Making sure that you got the flat side closest to the metal. I'm going to put mine like that. And then, of course, use the included wrenches to tighten them in. And then take the part where it has two and put one on each side. And tighten them up until it feels sturdy. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. That is the ANET ET4X and how to put it together. Stay tuned and I will give you a what to do first once you get it assembled video as well. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you have a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.